Welcome, Virgo. This is going to be your mid-May love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords coming out. Oh my gosh, what is all this? All right, we have the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Moon. I don't think I've ever seen so much um, going on in the mind. Wow. The Queen of Swords is standing in her truth, right? This is seeking the truth. There might be a feeling of anchored fears or something here with the Nine of Swords that can be like triggering some things like traumas or certain things in your in your life. And the Ten of Swords is say, stating that you could only go up from here because there has been a lot of um, hard times with the Virgo I'm connecting with, like a lot of hard times. And with the Five of Swords, there could be some, a feeling of wanting to win something. Um, something can still feel a bit resentful. Um, so I feel like this is where you're seeking the truth, doing a lot of healing. Because with the Five of Swords, there's no winners, you know, in spiritual, like in, in spiritual terms. And the moon is, is basically saying that, you know, there's things that are going to be revealed to you here. The Four of Rings is coming in pretty strong, which is the Four of Pentacles, which I feel like a lot of you guys may be looking at, like, like okay, so the Four of Pentacles, of rings is loosening up your grip on materialism that's what that represents and seeking out more love and happiness in your life so there's something here to where i feel like you're being more um like i can't really explain it like you're letting go of things that are no longer important to you and focusing on the things that are going to ground you and I feel like you're more focusing on he healing your inner world because there it feels like there's a lot of anchored fears here that can creep up during you know very hard times or certain areas of your life that is stemmed from history of things here okay because I'm seeing so many swords so many swords so let's see what's going on here Virgo because you're standing in your truth. Yeah, the high priestess. You're very intuitive. You have psychic abilities. You could see things and feel things before they even come. It's a natural gift you have. Um, someone here is feeling a bit trapped in the mind of also. So this person here is trapped by their own perception. So this is a need to, like, once a change of perspective comes in, then it's it's easier to move on but the two of swords here is basically saying that there's something that's stagnant in this person's mind at this time they're not able to see clearly there could be a feeling of a choice that this person wants to make but once that choice is made or a change of perspective then the six of swords comes in which means it's moving in from chaos to more of a calmer mindset so hmm, the high priest is you could be silent not really speaking to anybody at this time or expressing certain things but with the Ace of Cups, there is a feeling of a need of more self-love. This could be feeling like abandonment or a feeling of unloved or uncared for as to why you could be very protective of yourself. Again, it could stem from other things besides what situations um, you're currently going through. Like it can arise in current situations. I don't know who this is for, but it feels very deep and it feels like there is a lot of things that you have gone through and continue going through and you're just standing true to yourself and being real with yourself here. And there is a lot of self-awareness with Virgo. Queen of Wands, okay. Someone here may be coming in impulsively, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is healing and wish fulfillments coming in. And there feels like a sense of a breakup or a sep sense of a lot of heartbreak kind of grieving here with that three of swords. I know it's a love reading. Okay, great. But there seems to be in this love, there seems to be both um, 
using like tactics or old ways like if say if you've been with somebody for a while and you are you guys get in an argument and then you both like one of you stays silent the other one wants to talk about it or the other are both of you guys stay silent and then see which one breaks first that's the five of swords so there's a feeling of needing to work on something here within the connection and with the five of swords something feels very heartbreaking and with the knight of swords it's saying with this with the seven of wands there's a there's some this person is feeling like they're being attacked but i but they're feeling guarded but they are thinking about rushing in but it's impulsive you see it's impulsive let's see because they're not thinking i feel like this is based off a lot of emotions and possibly past things that are still not resolved possibly past issues the nine of swords this person is also in the nine of swords yeah with the empress okay Ooh. ten of wands i feel like you're trying to release something here something's feeling too heavy on you yeah with the three of cups i feel like you're trying to look for happiness and community and like-minded people i feel like this person is very upset I'm also and maybe having sleepless nights about something. The two of wands is saying that there's a bit of self-doubt about when making choices. This is a need to have faith in your choices here. King of swords, this energy can be, there, there could be an energy around you that can be very insensitive or hurtful with their words. Or this could be the challenge on how, uh, you, you know, both of you, how you argue or however. This feels like a strong connection with that two of cups, but it just feels like you may have a lot of history with this person. And it's like hard to see like it it seems like a lot of the like pain that was there before comes up again you see like something is triggering a pain here knight of cups okay seven of swords see in the past there's something here that happened in the past um where charm or something here doesn't feel like it feels like you see this knight of cups a lot like you see a knight come in who's very loving and caring and romantic and, you know, very charming in a way. And then you see that, okay, maybe this person, but they're coming in as a knight, so it's not very stable, right? But it's like, you then you start seeing the mask come off. You start seeing the deceit, the lies, the patterns, you see. And the queen of, the queen of wands is very inspired and affectionate and loving and excited right but then this comes off like it's like it's good but then it goes bad you know i feel like that's what it's like waiting for something to happen in a way this person wants to rush in to your energy and they look at you as the empress they look at you as nurturing and loving and caring that's how they think of you um, there could be a little bit of competition here and resistance to change also like things that you know were said that we're going to change in the past you know it never changed it's hard um eight of swords i feel like this person's seeing clearly now and wants to come in but you may be defensive or they may feel like some things that they're saying is going to be taken the wrong way. I don't, I feel like this is a, a strong connection that was built off, you know, a long history. It doesn't have to be, but that's just what I'm feeling here. The three of wands is showing a lot of delays and a lot of prayer and faith. Okay. So in the near future, it's asking you to have faith. This could be a marriage or a commitment here. Three of wands. Yeah. There's like a, um, some, some, things feel stuck right now stagnant all right all right let's get three cards okay again that ace of cups again there is a need to communicate there is some truth and a breakthrough coming in the queen of swords it's it's in the reverse now with the five of wands so there could be some again some uh, the queen of swords is more of like watch your words in a way are but it, it, it like kind of watch for like take charge however but be careful with how you speak like and it, that's what the queen of swords is the queen of swords is more of a cut off cutthroat type of energy 
So that is more of a warning that comes with the Queen of Swords. But with the Ace of Swords, it's saying that there's a lot of truth and breakthrough coming in. But with the Five of Wands, it still feels like there's like something wanting to be resolved here in the outcome. Okay, it does. It looks like there wants to there's wants to be um, um, to make amends or uh, to bring something into balance because it looks like a very hard time with the Three of Swords. Like something needs to heal with this Three of Swords and be talked about in some way. Because the Five of Wands is stating that there's no, I don't want to fight anymore, but the Ace of Cups is stating that there's a feeling of, of a need for more self-love, for more love in the connection, because something feels, you know, kind of feeling left out in a way or feeling unloved in a way, okay? So, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. This is pretty intense. Um... Again, spirit, no five of swords, five. There's no winners. That's the five of swords. Like, clearly, that's what it means. It's like the games are games. It's more of, of, um, this is what keep things stuck is the games. There's no, like, there's no, nothing being resolved when it comes to the five of swords. But think, but we do have the five of wands, which says that things, a conversation, a breakthrough is coming in. Um, here, let's get advice from spirit because this is a, this is a lot. This is definitely a lot. Feels like a very strong connection here. Um, we have a trust your instincts. Spirit wants you to trust your instincts. Oops. Now is the time to undertake something. You need to be on your own. Maybe maybe rest, recharge, be on your own for a bit. Yeah, time to start something new. Spirit is saying. This is your advice. Oh, there we go. Keep accomplishments to yourself. Also, faith without the work behind it is pointless. Faith without the work behind it is pointless. We also have time to shed old beliefs and change your mindset. Okay, that came out too. Well, let's see what the silent heart about. Because this guy, th this person, uh, doesn't matter about the gender, but... It does feel like um, they're they're hurting here. I mean, they, there's a lot of love. I'm sending you loving energy. Can you feel it? Like there, it does look like there's a want to heal something. I run away, so maybe this person left or ran away in some way, uh, maybe emotionally or shut down or physically. But I ran away because I felt like I couldn't live up to your needs and expectations. Um. Yeah, telepathic bond. It does feel like a very strong, you know, soulmate connection. Uh, very strong. Oh, there we go. Twin flame. As I say that, twin flame journey came in. Yeah, I'm ashamed of how I treated you. Wow. A twin flame energy. So the twin flame journey, I would definitely look that up. It's. I mean, some people say they can work out forever, but there are a lot of challenges because it's there, like, it's like you guys meet to bring out things within each other that needs to be healed. It's, it's about growth and, um, yeah, trying to accomplish things together. Sometimes the twin flame comes in your journey, but rarely do you see someone really work it out with the twin flame, you know? Um, again, I'm getting soulmate energy too, though. So maybe this was your twin flame. I don't know. I can't explain it. You guys, <laughs> you guys are gonna uh, resonate how you're gonna resonate. But oh, this person is saying they miss you. Friends or family disapprove of this connection. You make me want to be a better person. Yeah, that's what that's for. I'm sorry. I wish I could take it back. Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. I need a new chair. Well, this person's definitely does look like there's something here. There is a want for healing, a truth, conversation. Let's see what spirit wants you to do at this time. Very deep reading here, Virgo. Very deep. Embrace the flow of life. This is a full moon in Gemini. 
focus on the positive new moon in Sagittarius and keep your heart open okay first quarter moon in Libra let's get a love message here a message for you I'm thinking of you this very moment look at that I have soulmate right here I'm telling you I'm telling you this is like a soulmate energy yeah, I have a, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. We also have, when it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Virgo. I hope this message helped. I hope it brought clarity. And if it did or helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. Soon. God bless.